What it do, what it do, fam? It's your boy D, and I'm back with another video. Those who are, um, you know, coming back and returning subscribers, um, thank you for your support. And um, those who are new, hey, click that subscribe button, and uh, don't forget to hit that post notification button, that bell button, so you can get some of my con content when it first drops. And um, don't forget to like, comment, and share. Okay. And today I'm talking about an Ohio pastor who's being charged for housing homeless people from this freezing weather. And, um, you know, I don't know. I'm going to show you the story. They say he um, is undergoing criminal charges. I don't know exactly what happened, but... But, I mean, they're saying, you know, they're charging him because of the fact that he opened his doors to his church to help homeless, to help, you know, the the homeless people. And he said there's some widows out there that he was trying to help and some children, you know. And, you know what, my thing is, I, I heard some of these mega churches didn't do nothing. You know, before when things are happening and nobody opened their doors. When I, like I said, I'm not mentioning any names, but um, I'm sure some of y'all remember the story, that story. But um, you know, we moving on with this one. Um, you know, um, an Ohio pastor. You know, they got him in court. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let you see the video for yourself, and then. Uh, We'll come back and we'll talk about it. A pastor in the city of Bryan was arraigned this morning for housing the homeless in his church. Pastor Chris Avell, he pleaded not guilty on 18 counts. Those charges included zoning violations for running a church that sheltered the homeless. The law states residential use in first floor buildings in a business district is banned. The pastor tells WTOL 11 he was just doing his God-given duty. This is what the Word of God teaches, is to take care of the widow and orphan. And we have widows in our church, and we've had um, people who, they may not be kids in, under the law, but they're orphans. And uh, this is how I worship my God, and I just want to be able to worship my God. The pastor is expected back in court within the next 30 days. There you have it. Um, like I said, he said he was doing the will of God, you know, you know, and the Bible do tell us, you know, to, you know, you know, look after the widows and, you know, and the orphans and so on. And, and I mean, he's basically doing his job as a pastor now, you know, if, come on now, cut the man some slack. I mean, he, I mean, it's freezing weather out there. I mean. It's below here, you know, and everywhere. I mean, even in, you know, different spots, you know, that's not used to having cold weather. They're having cold weather. There's an Arctic bliss that's going on, you know, and the news has been saying that. So, what, you know, he was kind-hearted enough to open the doors to his church and allow some of the, you know, hom the homeless people to come and stay there for shelter so they don't freeze to death. Because, yeah, I'm sure there are some people that have froze to death within this weather. I mean, my thing is, I can see if he was trafficking or, or um, molesting or whatever. No, this man is opening his doors so people can come in and have warmth. Be safe. You know what I'm saying? To be safe. You know what I'm saying? This is just... You know what? This world is backwards. That's all I'm going to say. This world is... But backwards, for real. This is backwards. It's just backwards. You know, what things are... What they consider is right is wrong. And what's wrong is right. And like I just said, I'm just going to keep praying. And I pray the best for this pastor because... I didn't see where he did anything wrong. He did what the will of God told him. You know what I mean? Hey, I don't knock him. 
You know, there's others that are that's not doing nothing, you know. But just saying, you know. Can't ridicule him. We just gotta keep him in prayer. And that, you know, our you know, charges will be dropped. Or whatever, you know, uh, pray. You know, for the um, congregation, pray, you know, for the homeless, you know. Because we got in America, we got to do better. That's all that's to it. We got to do better. You know, so much that, you know, it's like they don't even want to acknowledge God in a lot of things. But, you know, they want to stand up for the wrong things. But what can I say? Pray. We all can stand together, you know, and pray. But, you know, you know, you know, these lawmakers, they, you know, there's people that's doing crime crimes out there that needs to be charged, that needs to be, you know, dealt with in a case. I don't know. Like I said, I'm hoping that's it. I'm not for sure on the story, but all I just know is that, you know, the article said that he was being charged for homing, you know, um, housing uh, homeless people in during this, um, you know, this cold time. So, I, you know, during the cold weather, <laughs> you know, and I don't see nothing wrong with it, you know, could be worse. Well, like I said, we just gonna, gonna pray and pray that that's, you know, all that's to it. I'll look more into it and see, but uh, I have seen this article like several times and I just see where this guy did anything wrong. I just said, you know, he's helping you. That's what he's supposed to do is help. Help folks, you know what I'm saying? Yep, that's what we gotta do. We gotta help them. We gotta be there to serve. You know what I'm saying? That being said, it's your boy D. Um, make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. So let's make it a great day. And you know what? What we gotta do is learn. Take our hands off and do this thing. Let God do it. And when it's being said, I want to let you know God loves you. And so do I. So, I love you. Love you, love you, love you. Ain't nothing you can do about it.